Welcome back to another episode, and today we're talking real American hero, G.I. Joe. And guys, what more is there to say about classic animation from the 80s, especially when you're talking about G.I. Joe? I'd rush home from school every day just to watch this on television. Absolutely love this anime series. It is a classic, it is adored by so many around the world. Even today, people are enjoying this series. People are enjoying it. You know, we have a new movie coming out. You know, new figures are coming out. Absolutely, it's timeless. It's a timeless animated show. Now, this is from 2003. This is Rhino, Rhino Mation. Put this out. Two five-part miniseries. A Real American Hero and The Revenge of Cobra. So, pretty nice artwork on the front. On the back, shot of Destro. And it is a two-disc set. Mini series one and mini series turn like this, guys, because the disc is a little tight in there. Mini series two. Now, these are some of the best. I'm telling you, when GI Joe was at their best, it's when they did mini series. I really do. Between the Mass Device, Pyramid of Darkness, Arise Serpentor, I love Arise Serpentor. That is just a fantastic five part mini series. Absolutely love it, guys. But like I said, this thing is just it's timeless, guys. You can actually, on YouTube, on the Hasbro channel, they actually show G.I. Joe cartoons still. You can, you know, like a, like mini marathons, basically, and they're showing, you know, the animated classic. And there's no different. I, guys, I would love to see this whole series just remastered in Blu-ray. It would be fantastic. But that's the, you know, first one that came out. My original, you know, I bought this back in the day. All these I actually bought right when they came out back in the day. So I have this one. Also, once we got to the actual series, the main series itself, now, the problem is they didn't finish off. They should have had season two, part two, but they did not finish that. Went to a different company. I have yet to pick that up. I've never picked that one up. But I do have three of the releases from Rhinomation. Now, this is season one, part one. Just let me just look it. Tells you all the episodes that are on here. It's, it's fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Pyramid of Darkness is on here. And nice little, like, this slip. Slips right out the back. And you guys have to, excuse me, it's a little dusty. It's been a while since I popped these out. But I just, I love this. I love this. Cobra Commander. Just great, guys. Multiple discs, like I said. I'll show you guys real quick. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had these out. So they are a little dusty. And the reason why I'm thinking G.I. Joe, guys, I'm going to mention at the end of this video. I don't think I want to mention it's really been on my mind lately. And it's not just because, you know, the, uh, the Snake Eyes movie's coming out, which I am definitely looking forward to seeing. But guys, just check this out. Even behind the discs. Take them out. There's a shot of Flint right there. Okay. Put that back in there. So you have some artwork in the back here. Let me look at that. Gung Ho. Lady J. So nice artwork, guys. Real nice artwork. But they also have like these little mission cards. You flip open this little, it's kind of hard to do this on video. <laughs> but I'm going to try to show you guys the best that I can. Flip this little part open like this, okay? And I'll wait till I'm off camera to try to put these back. Because this might be a little, little tricky. Season 1, part 1, little episode guide. So even like back in 2000, because this is, I'm going to look at the release date on this one. This was 19... This was 2000 and 2003, also for Rhino. But just like a little listing, you know, all the episode guides. So even back then, they were doing like episode guides. So that's really, really cool. I forgot that they actually, like I said, it's been a while since they've taken this out. But I forgot that they had done that. So that was definitely a nice touch back then from Rhino. Also, something else I forgot. Collectible Cell. Destro. Cobra Commander. Some Cobra Troops. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. Like I said, I will wait till I'm off camera to put that back. So let's get right along to Season 1, Part 2. So we change up the color scheme. Like a red, you know, a little bit. You know, red, blue, and some silver. But again, just beautiful, beautiful packaging. I love the packaging. I know that, you know... It's, they do come up as being like a little flimsy, but I do 
really, really like. I like how they look. Especially when they fall right out, just like that, guys. Perfect. All right, so we have about the same, guys. Okay. Some artwork in the back. I just, I, I, I can't, I can't rave enough about G.I. Joe. Yes, Destro, Cobra Commander, Baroness, Driving a Tank, Major Blood. Right there, it's a little bit of image right there you guys can see, Major Blood. Now with this one, we also had the same. We also had an episode guide to go along with this. And we have a nice, look at this, Duke and Flint. Two mainstays of G.I. Joe. Nice cell, animated cell from the series. And look at the episode, 28 episodes, beautiful artwork, Major Blood ordering the Cobra Troops. Fantastic. Just fantastic. I just can't say enough of it, guys, about it, guys. I really, I really can't. I just wish that, you know, Rhino had had a chance to finish off the series. Because that's where it gets a little confusing. When you go to the other company, I forget exactly who, who you know, who put it out. But it gets a little confusing with how they, how they listed things. Which, that's why another reason why I never picked it up. Because I didn't want to buy it, make sure I didn't pick something up that was... Exact same episodes of what I already had. Now look at this one, guys. Almost like a digital background to it. But season two, part one. Really nice artwork again. Serpentor. Say Rise Serpentor is on this one. Yeah, love it, guys. Absolutely love it. As we open it up right here. And let's go ahead and we'll just pop one of the discs out here. All right. Nice artwork. Yeah, let's take another one. Hawk, Duke. Just great, guys. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, the first disc. Actually, I'm going to say, guys, cause i got to show this artwork. Serpentor. I love how they added artwork for all of these. Just fantastic. All right, and right here, we have another cell from the show with Destro. And a nice episode guide. 15 episodes in this set. On the back here, the other, you know, the ones I just showed you guys, all the other ones. Yeah, just really, really nice, guys. Absolutely. I had the shows. I really I wanted the shows. I do have the movie as well that I have on Blu-ray. So that, you know, that's nice to have that on Blu-ray. But yeah, guys, that's just, those are the, the G.I. Joe sets that I have. Um, love it, guys. A lot of great classic animation there. You, you can't, they just don't do it nowadays. Like, the, you know, once in a while you get a show that can kind of, you know, they can hit those marks. But man, they just didn't do it like they do back in the 80s, guys. It was just great. It was fantastic. I keep saying fantastic because it was, guys. The 80s were fantastic for cartoons. They were. They were fantastic. And like I said, I, the reason I want to mention this was because I recently came across on YouTube a gentleman, um, Bobby Valor, who, you know, Valorverse, he's making, like, the, I think, like, Action Force uh, style. You know, because Action Force was, like, basically, like, a um, international version of G.I. Joe. And, you know, he's making the, the, these action figures, and they look fantastic. They look fantastic. So it got me thinking. I'm like, guys, I might have to actually get some of these figures because they look, they're amazing. And, and this gentleman actually worked for Hasbro working on some of the G.I. Joe figures at one time. So, you know, he has the knowledge of how to get these figures and how to make them look nice. So I'm hoping that maybe I can do that. Maybe I, I'm, I'm tempted to pick a few of these up because they look really, really cool. There's a Sergeant Slaughter one as well. They look really nice. I'm pretty tempted. And I actually contacted him just last night through email, and he was, you know, gracious enough to get back to me right away. So I, I really appreciated that. But there's also like a comic book that you know called Action Force that goes along with it. So it got me thinking, like, oh man, like I'm, I'm like all in now. I'm like I really between the Action Force and like getting made with the GI Joe, this could be, this could be really dangerous territory for me, guys. Especially with the new um, Snake Eyes movie coming out, which looks really good. Oh, this is not going to be, this could be bad. The next few months could be pretty pretty rough on the old uh, on the old wallet. But yeah, guys, that was my G.I. Joe um, set, the series. Um, maybe eventually I do, will try to pick up that, you know, that missing fourth 
volume, you know, for those episodes I don't have. But for now, that's what I have. Those are my original purchases back in the day when they came out. Hard to believe that there were already almost, what, about 20, no, about 17? I'm trying to think here, guys. My math isn't too good this late at night sometimes. About 17 years old for some of these? It's crazy. It, it, it is that there were already, you know, for some of those releases, that has been that long. It doesn't seem possible. It really, it really doesn't. But yeah, guys, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, classic 80s at its best. So like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Hey, guys, yo, Joe. Catch you guys later.